So guys, today I'm going to be talking about my everyday carry for February. Now, I do want to note that I didn't do the one for January just because a lot like November, not much had really changed with my uh, ADC and I was quite busy. So since not much had changed and I really didn't have a whole lot of time to do an EDC, I figured I'll just wait till February. To start off, there are some things that don't often change and let's get into it. So the first part is tech or phones. And as most of you guys know, this is probably one that, you know, it comes up every time and is the iPhone 6 Plus. Kidding guys, I just had this uh, lying around uh, for this video and I decided to throw it in. But of course, my real one is the HTC One M9. That is what I'm actually using. And of course, both of these are in sanctified survival cases. And of course, both of these are in sanctified survival cases. I will leave a link in the description below to where you can check this uh, case out. And uh, as you can now see, I have a few different models or for a few different models of phones. Uh, I really like how this 6 Plus turned out. It is a really big phone. But anyways, uh, now getting into the into other knives. Thing. So once again, knives haven't changed. I don't really change knives that much. Uh, these are the three primary knives I'm running for everyday carry. And this is, of course, the Sabenza, the Paramilitary 2, and the Mora Eldress. I really like all three knives. They're all really good. Uh, very excellent knives for everyday carry. So there's really no sense in changing them. Uh, anytime it's cold out, um, I always have the Zippo. So no changes there and no real changes ever to the Zippo because so long as it's cold out, I'm always going to have a Zippo. And I don't always carry this, uh, but it is a multi-tool. And this is the Leatherman Surge. Once again, I've talked a lot about the awesomeness of the Leatherman Surge. And uh, no surprise that it does make the uh, ADC rotation quite frequently because of its usefulness. Next is uh, the two wallets. I pretty much am always rocking recycled firefighter or wallets. One of these two. Uh, and I really do like them. They're really tough, really strong. Uh, really, once again, no reason to change them. Uh, they really are what I've always wanted, so probably not going to change them anytime soon. Really awesome wallets. Would highly recommend them into things that I've actually changed. And the first part is that adding a bandana or a cloth to the everyday carry. I've really been wanting to try it and actually, you know, like have some kind of cloth for everyday carry and so I decided to throw a forest green bandana into the mix and I've been so far really enjoying having it addition but you know the uses for bandanas are really endless the next few additions are two bracelets of mine and I'd, once again if you guys are into paracord bracelets I highly encourage you to check out my company uh, but this is just the rugged sanctified and the normal sanctified with endless falls two that I don't really make a whole lot of anymore, but I really do enjoy wearing personally. So the next piece is something that I've kind of changed and uh, something that has been out of the rotation pretty much all of last month was my Timex Expedition Sierra. And the reason why was, and I'll get more into this in the review, but uh, with the chronograph base, everything was offset permanently somehow to the one o'clock position and so overall it was just really confusing i decided to just send it back to timex to repair it and in fairness they did repair it free of charge uh, and they actually just sent a new one because the one that i had was an older edition and they no longer actually made that one so they just sent a new one and if you guys want to see what i mean i'll roll in a picture around here Uh, of what the other one looked like. There are some differences between this one and that one, uh, but I'll show you guys, or you can see the problem in the picture I'm talking about. And I did try to reset the chronograph multiple times, many, many times, and it just never ended up actually resetting like this one does. So anyways, that was a little bit sad, but now I have this newer one that does actually work properly. And so watches, and this watch are reintegrated into the EDC. So then nextly, I completely forgot. Something that doesn't change much is the flashlight. I might be changing it soon, I'm not sure, but this is still the Streamlight ProTac 2L. Great flashlight for winter. It really, you know, it emits quite a bit of light, especially in its high setting. Um, 
so that of course is going to be carried at all times during the winter because you never know when it's going to get dark. The last changes I made was in writing instruments and the first one is to add a sharpie to the setup. I do quite a bit of writing with sharpies and so I decided to actually just add one to the EDC rotation and setup. And then nextly is a Fisher Space Pen. And I'm going to be doing a review on Fisher Space Pens, but I really love them. And I think they're kind of like the gem, ultimately, of the EDC pen world because they're super affordable. They still carry the Fisher Space Pen ink cartridge in them, which is an awesome ink cartridge for anyone that doesn't know. And once again, they're made in the U.S. and a whole bunch of things. I'm going to be doing a review pretty shortly on this Fisher Space Pen and multiple or the general lineup of Fisher Space Pens because they are really awesome and would highly encourage you guys to check them out. Anyways, guys, that is the EDC rotation for February. Once again, not a gigantic amount has changed, just a little bit, keeping it fresh and updated. Uh, and once again, I'm not sure how frequently I'm going to be doing these EDC updates. Whenever I have what I feel is enough new gear to do an EDC update, probably when I'll do it. Uh, instead of trying to do one every single month because when I do one every single month it kind of gets repetitive anyways guys hopefully you've enjoyed that don't forget to comment like share subscribe and I'm out